So yesterday was the inauguration of Joseph R. Biden as the 46th president of the United States. And thankfully, it actually went off without a hitch. Uh, there wasn't you know, widespread violence. There wasn't anything like that. And so lots of people were concerned about possible violence, like we saw on January 6th, the Capitol building, when, of course, violent insurrectionists, violent right-wing insurrectionists, disrupted the certification process for the election. Uh, but, of course, it ended up being certified as Joe Biden being the winner. Uh, we've also heard news uh, of armed militia groups that were getting ready to protest at state houses across the country during the inauguration. And so that concern prompted state officials to try to take preventative measures uh, to do that, you know, beefing up security, putting up fences, things like that. Well, it turns out it wasn't actually needed. So that's good news. Uh, in fact, the, de the demonstrations that actually happened across the country were a little sad, a little pathetic. Uh, and I'm going to show you uh, in, in very, very low energy, uh, very, very jeb. Please clap. So not good, uh, at least not good for the Trump brand. In fact, more than a few of those rallies drew just one or two Trump supporters. That's Albany. Ooh, ooh, sad. Oh, that's pathetic. Um, so now this guy is Mark Liguero. Mark Liguero was talking to NBC News about this, he was asked, um, and he says, I just wanted to be part of the Patriot Party, join supporters of Trump, you know, I find myself kind of by myself out here. Yes, I was hoping that we'd have more supporters out here. <laughs> oh my God, it's, it's, so, it's so sad, it's so pathetic. Uh, and look, you, you kind of feel for the guy a little bit, but then you also have to remember that he supported a violent insurrectionist. So, you know, screw that. Uh, but hey, we've got more, more fun stuff, uh, more fun images, I should say, if I can actually work this right. So you had uh, other tiny Trump rallies, some as small, as I said, a single person broke out around the nation, including this guy in Sacramento. Get this guy, lone guy, not doing too well. <laughs> All right, and then uh, there's a video here uh, from New Hampshire uh, of a protester uh, who was asked this. So Donna, um, what compelled you or inspired you to come out here today? I just could not sit and watch the inauguration. I cannot accept that. I cannot watch the televised uh, president who won leave the White House. <laughs> our our president who won. Our what? What you you got like a mouse in your pocket or there's nobody else there. You're just by yourself. Oh, again, that's uh, super super sad. Super, we love President Trump. Who's we? Who's we? There ain't nobody there. All right, let me show you uh, Kansas. Uh, I, I'm sorry. No, this is uh, Carson City, Nevada. So, so let me get to the next picture here, which is, again, lots of fun. That's one uh, Trump protester. Just, just the one. Awesome. And by the way, some of these drew counter protests of like, more people. <laughs> That's even better. It's even better. Uh, and then you have this. Honk if socialism sucks. <laughs> this one happened in Kansas. So, oh, fantastic. The same one uh, from Kansas. So was, there was multiple people. You know, there, there were a couple. There were maybe tens of people across the country that were involved here. So good. This, this is far from the energy that, uh, you know, Trump used to bring. And by the way, it's far from the energy 
that protests against Trump would bring. You remember when Donald Trump first got elected, um, the Women's March drew millions and millions of people. Marches for Black Lives Matter drew tens of millions of people, not just uh, you know across the country, but across the world. And yet now, Trump's no longer president, and he could only bring out maybe more than a couple people. Sad. Baby. And here's the thing. This is, this is good. Uh, because this means conservatives, for the most part, I think are starting to accept the reality of a Biden administration. It's here. You know, you, you, can't, really, you can't really do anything about it. Like, he's, he's still your president. Okay? And so, you know, there it is. And, and as a bonus, by the way, you saw that woman. She's wearing a mask. Good on her. Uh, this also means that you have less super spreader events now that you don't have massive Trump rallies anymore. Uh, and, and of course, by the way, you probably would get more, you know, a decent crowd of people now, a few thousand at least, if Donald Trump was actually at the event at the time. Okay. So, but it also, by the way, does show how overall how weak they are. Again, when you compare lefty protests to conservative protests, Lefty protests bring people out more. They're able to get more people involved in their causes because lefty protests tend to be more about justice, fairness, the sense of equality, et cetera, where a lot of the Trump right-wing protests are usually about conspiracies, whether or not, you know, oh, they're taking my guns, they're going to take my guns away. Really, we were told for, for eight years that Obama's going to take away your guns. Gun sales actually increased in this country. So... No, you know, based on conspiracy theories, QAnon stuff, just the most ridiculous stuff um, that they're protesting, you know, against or, or for. And most people, most people in America don't agree with them. And that's why you see these very, very sad, very pathetic little protests. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron, it's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf, or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.